Hello, toy friends. How are you? I'm Will, and we're live. Um, but you know what? I wouldn't be here without uh, my buddy, Mr. Jim Largo. Hi, Jim. Hey, howdy. Why don't we? Why don't we equal out? Okay, hogging the screen there, buddy. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> and let's say hi to chat because we got a couple people here waiting, uh, like Jim Largo's lair. In Indeed. Sweeney. He's getting uh, something to eat before he comes in, but that's fine. We'll be here. Um, Bjorn, Schmajulak, me, I'm here. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> how's it going, buddy? Uh, Jacob Stanko, how are you, bud? Uh, Mr. Boba Hicks and Scuba Pete. Hey, Scuba Pete, how are you? TJC is here, and oh, 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 I lost him. Did Goji's I just here. Delete? Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's Goji. Yep. Okay. All right. So strap in, folks, because uh, we've got a pretty exciting show today. A uh, few disclaimers. This is going to be a complete, uh, just, it's going to be all over the place because something's happened. And I also... I tried this. It's like a new Yingling uh, Chesterfield Ale. They call it Chetty. And mm. I don't know. It hits kind of hard. I don't drink very much, but I've only had two of them. And I'm feeling a little, you know. You know? Um, so I don't know if it's me. Um, Grindhead Jim, he heard Amazon is dumb. We're going to get to that. <laughs> I believe Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yep. Um, one thing I want to mention before we even begin, and this kind of crept up on me, and it's something that, I didn't even know until uh, just before the show today, but apparently this channel, me, has 400 subscribers. Is that crazy? Wow. I mean, that is like, yeah. I mean, I definitely um, started making videos for just a handful of people. Um, and so minus that handful, 400 other people uh, like what we're talking about. So I really appreciate that. So thank you to everyone that subscribed. Um, I can't believe it. And, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll start losing them. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Jacob is saying, uh, I saw those am on Amazon right now. I can't find them on Target. Yeah, uh, they might be on Target soon. Yep. Uh, congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jacob, uh, you went to Target and found nothing yet. Hey, I ordered them yesterday. And that's one thing that I'm going to tell you is they arrived today. I have them. Uh, the X-Men 97 stuff is here. So uh, we're going to check cool. that out in just a few minutes. Yeah. So, guys, uh, first up. Oh, 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 wait. That's not how you run a show. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> my first time, folks. Bear with me. Uh, be gentle. Be gentle, yeah. Okay, so here we go, guys. Wilhelm Twain Hobby presents 118 scale stuff. I don't know. Guys, I just decided that, um, you know, me, 118 scale is my favorite scale. It's not the best scale. There are other scales I also enjoy. Uh, but there's not much news when it comes to it. So I get most of my sources from, like, my Facebook groups and um, Instagram and other people where, you know, um, <clears throat> oh, uh, Jacob, if you don't see the X-Men jet on Amazon, I will put a link in the chat just a little bit, okay? Hang in there. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, there's just not much. Uh, it comes in kind of pieces from here and there and maybe other people that I, uh, you know, I see. And I just thought maybe it'd be cool to just put together a little show, do it on a Sunday, and we could just talk about 118 scale stuff for once because, you know, it doesn't get much love. I know it's not the, we're like the little kid table at like, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, you know? So everyone gather around the kid table, join me. We're going to have some fun. All right. What do we name this show? I have no idea what to name it. Right now it's got like three different names. It's like 118 Toy Talk. It's Hanging with the Helm. Which works for me. So why don't you guys put comments for suggestions to name this show uh, down in the uh, video. You know, not in the live chat. Do it in the video. Something and, 118 scale specific or? 
Yeah, I think so. I think it should be 118 scale specific. That way the people who like the 118 scale stuff could find us. Uh, so I mm-hmm. would like 118 scale to be in the title. And I just can't really think of it, you know. Uh, or do we just call it hanging with the helm? And then we, we, we do, you know, 118 toy talk or something. I don't know. Um, and then do we do this weekly or bi-weekly? It depends on how much news is out there. You know, if there's not enough stuff to do a weekly show, then I'm not going to just, you know, come on here and unless you really want me to and babble about 118 scale stuff. Uh, But so, guys, this is the news and here's the rundown. So this is what I got for you this week, guys. We're going to talk about X-Men 97. That's the Marvel Epic Hero series. Marvel 97 uh, uh, X-Men 97 stuff is now live on Amazon. Amazon mixes up the Sentinel. Spin Master releases yeah. non stuff. Spin Master Blue Beetle movie stuff has been sort of revealed. Uh, we've got some really cool reveals uh, from Strike Force Alpha. Hyatt Toys announces a Flint figure. Some cool 3D z- designers making some cool stuff. And some Target clearance deals I saw recently. Now, I'm going to skip... And I'll just tell you, spoilers, guys, I've got the X-Men stuff, but because I didn't think I was going to have the X-Men stuff, I set up an entire other toy can full of the other stuff I'm getting. So I didn't want to pack all that up because it like showed up like minutes before the stream. So we're going to get to it, but we're going to skip past it for right now, take care of all the other crap, and then we're going to come right back to it and finish the stream with the x-men stuff because it really is cool and uh, you're gonna love seeing it all right guys so we're skipping stories here let me just get back on track so we're at spin master releasing new non-movie stuff yes i'm really excited that spin master has gone back to the basic spin master line as you may or may not know um uh, spin master and their Batman and DC line has been my favorite toy line to collect for the last several years. And, you know, for multiple reasons I won't get into right now. But I really enjoy them. And I'm happy that ever since I think it was the, uh, they did the, the Batman movie, which they changed the scale slightly, mm-hmm. which was annoying. Uh, then they did the uh, Black Adam movie and then the uh, Flash movie. And for each one of those, you know, they changed the scale and they were okay, but they were not as cool as the original line, at least not for me. So I'm happy that they're going back to, uh, they recently released this one. It's an Amazon exclusive four pack. It arrives in August and we've got some new character designs that, you know, a lot of people have criticized Spin Master for doing repaints and reissues of a lot of their stuff. Um, some of which I don't mind at all. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we've got a new Joker, uh, Nightwing, and Robin, who look like they've got some armor enhancements. And then this, like, Batman with the trench coat that kind of looks like it could have been from the movie or inspired by that. I've That heard is some... kind of a, almost a look he had in the, the year one when they were doing uh, New 52 stuff. It could be, and I don't mind that Spin Master kind of takes, like, uh, inspiration from video games and cartoons, and you could tell a lot of their character choices before that, and it's a little different. I love that Rob uh, Knight... Oh. Epic Badger (laughs) saying that his Spin Master (laughs) figures do not spin, and he is confounded. That's for No truth in advertising with Spin Master. There's no spin. Yes, yes. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Uh, and you know what? We uh, also did have a couple people join us here. And it looks like, uh, just as far as the uh, naming stuff, 18 in life to go. Isn't that like a Skid Row song? 118 life. <laughs> 118 life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last in Skid Row. Yes. There you go. Uh, the Diving Helm, where we dive into the vast ocean of 118. I like it. Um, 118 Herald. Guys, put this in the uh, the regular comments. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> uh, the 118. Hey, I like that. I like that. It's catchy. Yeah, that is really cool. So, yeah, maybe we'll do the 118. And uh, 
you know, and that'll be the name of the show. So that's pretty cool. Jacob, I agree English with the uh, yeah. Thirteen Titans. Oh yeah, that would they be would fun. Be awesome man, they'd be badass. That would be such a good line to to go down because uh, one of the th- criticisms of Spin Master is they don't do enough characters, which they do do a good amount. But you know they kind of keep rehashing some of the older characters. Over they over. are Batman heavy. I uh, would like to see yeah. them do other. You know, Aaron, other how heroes. are you? And then uh, Scuba, the Willpower Hour. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Gojatron explaining the spin master. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the Super Wilhelm Power Hour, where he starts with a thri- three-minute live-action sketch. Jeez. Uh, you know, it'd be really cool to see, but I doubt they'd make it. Uh, Spin Master Doom Patrol. Hey, I would love it, man. I would love it. I would take those all day long, man. Um, and Ian Sweeney, he made it. I'd call it Nightmare Batman, like from the Snyder mm-hmm. Cut of Justice League. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. you know... I like that they're just trying something new. You know, go ahead, make some variations, do something. You know, um, Soccer Hernandez. Hey, welcome to the show. I mostly collect movie figures and one eighteenth, and I'm hoping to release Spin Master Wonder Woman. Yeah, uh, they have a Wonder Woman in the regular line, but maybe you mean from the movie, um, right? The Wonder Woman movies, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, happy they did this. We've got a new Batmobile. It's the Crusader Batmobile. And in the comments of the sections from um, the Spin Master toy group that I'm in, uh, people either like it or hate it. Listen, this is a kids-focused line. I like that they tried something different. That's what I like about it. It's something different. It's tanky. It does have that big cannon right in the middle of the front of the thing. And I did just see someone uh, on Facebook today that kind of made it. You think it would fold down into the into the hood and you could pull it up and fire. It doesn't. But I've got hmm. it over here. Then we've got the uh, battle pack with uh, Batman, Killer Croc, and Bat in the Bat Cycle. Uh, Killer Croc... You know, he found a love in Croc Master there. Uh, it's a mm-hmm. new sculpt for Killer Croc. He's got that much more crocodile-like snout. Uh, the Batman figure now sporting some uh, sle- short sleeve action there. You get to see a little elbow. And uh, the Bat Cycle transforms into like a uh, flying Bat hovercraft thing or something. I don't know what it is. But, uh, you know, I like it. I like it. I've got it. It's here. We'll pull it up on the toy cam in just a second. Um, but yeah. Oh, I hope you get the Titan Series Sentinel. I do have it. Wait, what? No, 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 no. It should be like 20 bucks on Amazon. We'll, we'll have to yeah, double check. Uh, unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is scalpers will buy it and then re-put it up on Amazon as a third-party And you got to be careful, too, because Amazon and Walmart alike allow third-party sellers to sell under their umbrella. So you have to look at who you're getting it from because mm-hmm. uh, it could be a third-party seller, and they'll take something that's new and maybe trending on the search results. And they'll just add ten or twenty bucks to it and just try to capitalize on that. So you really got to yeah. be uh, be careful there. Uh, Ian liking it. He's uh, it's cracking killer croc. Yeah, and um, it's an okay Batmobile. It's no Mega Force Destroyer. Yeah, no, nope, absolutely not. You know, <laughs> I'd have to say that Killer Croc looks pretty cool. What's the difference? Uh, the one that they already made. I would have to go dig it out. Rabbit, but uh, this a one's a, a little bit girthier. It's a larger figure, I think, he is, and the face and sculpt got, is very different. And if you and I'll show you, he's a full head taller than Batman. What they did in the original line was they had the they kind of kept them all four inch, and as a result, they all had like really stubby legs, but these giant torsos and arms. You know, so they looked monstrous because they did Man Bat, Killer Croc, uh, Clayface. Swamp Thing, and uh, there was something else, too. I, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I really like that. We could uh, 
know, maybe maybe it's a good time. I'll go take a look at them right now. Let me pull up the toy cam. And uh, boop. this way I could get these guys out of the way. Uh, so here we have the. Um, so the Batmobile came with three cardboard cutout villains to fire your rocket at, which I thought was pretty interesting. <laughs> so yeah, here's the Batmobile here. And I don't know. Somebody was could... saying it, it it's reminiscent of the one from the Arkham games because of the, the capture area in the back, which is yes. something that was in the. That makes a lot of sense because I know someone was criticizing. They said they hated it, but I think that's kind of cool. If you're a kid, you know, you get, the, yeah. you get the villain, you lock him up in the back. The, the canopy opens. There's a cockpit for Batman. Uh, the only thing I don't get is the angle on this. Can you see it? The angle on the rocket? Because if this is flat, that rocket's shooting up in the air, you know? And well, it's a grappling targets. gun. Maybe that's so he can climb up the side of buildings yeah. like he did in Batman uh, Forever. Let's see if uh, I can take out. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there you go. But anyway, I like it. I think it's cool. It's different. I like to see something different. I know that the Batman 89 stuff was super hot and everyone was really into it. Um, one other thing I wanted to bring up here, and this is totally off the subject, but you may see these little green guys all over the place. Final Faction, buddy. These are the, uh, these come in a two pack for $1.25. Nice. And so you do I some army building pack. for some yeah. minions. Oh, I got 10 of these. So for any series, even if you're not into Final Faction, these are the new uh, venomized versions. So they're that nice bright green. You cool. know, if you need enemies for any heroes, man, Dollar Tree yeah. has got you, got you covered. And Here's there's detail the, uh, mold in. If you wanted to throw a lick, little lick of paint on there, you could really detail them out. Yeah. Here's uh, Killer Croc and Croc Master. They just got married. <laughs> and we've got... Ooh. Yeah, so he, he's much more articulate. Or, you know, he's got the full-length legs, which the other one just had the little stubs. So... I really like He's, them. Uh, definitely a lot more detailed, a lot more texture. Oh, yeah. yeah, the paint looks pretty good too. If you notice, he's not just one color. There's the Batman. He's in a you know a new kind of armor, and great. You know what? They didn't just re-release another Batman. Yeah, the capes on Spin Master are not the best, but I got to tell you, they did a. As a parent, I would like this because my kid would never lose the cape because it's kind of fixed to the to the character. Right. And you've got the bat cycle, which real quick and easy transformation. You just pop huh. it open like that. And then it's got these bombs that drop out of it where you, you could bomb your enemies and he fits on there pretty good. Listen, the, the Batman and killer croc with the motorcycle set was only about $20. It's a good value. The, the uh, Batmobile. Did I? I lost myself. Okay. The Batmobile also is only about $20. And, you know, this is a pretty beefy Batmobile. Yeah. You know, with the firing missile, and it's got the play feature where you can put your villains in there. And it's Plus kind it of a, yeah, it's kind it of a hybrid. Because there's, there's yeah. either one or two ways to go with a Batmobile. Either it's a sleek sports car or it's a tank. And this one's kind of trying to do a little of both. It is. And I like some of the design elements. And, you know, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Just I was off camera there. So I'd like to see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, back to. uh <laughs> Guys, like a flying bat cycle? That's no Delta Mark V. No, no, it's not. Uh, so, yes, uh, nothing beats the. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Jacob just saying, yeah, that is. You got you to gotta watch out. You got to watch out. Um, I recommend it. And, and it's in the. Link is in the description to this video. If you go over and check out 118. 
Toy Archive on Facebook or Instagram, he's got an Amazon affiliate link uh, where he puts up all these links. He's got his pul- you know, his finger on the pulse of the 118 community. It's where I get most of my breaking news. I've been following him for several years now and because he's all about the 118 archive, man. He's got a great website and everything. So if you go there and you use his links, he'll take you right to the correct one. Uh, so I would recommend that you do that. Cool. Uh, G-Force Racing's joining us. Howdy. Oh, oh G-Force, go? what's happening? Um, there he is. And I saw TJC's in the house. Hey. Um, and somewhere around here, I saw James from, there he is, Ratface44. Uh, hey, 44 James, views. how are you? Very nice to see you, buddy. Yeah, and that's it. Uh... Okay, cool. So there's some cool stuff in, in the Spin Master line. And, they're, you know, again, it is kid-centric, so there's a lot of gimmick it is. kind of stuff. But it's fun. Yeah. And priced at a, a, a decent rate where it's not well, going to kill your wallet. Sure. And that's, you know, if you want me to explain why I love it, you know, just as a toy collector. One, it's a true toy line. These are all toys. They're not adult collectibles. They're very accessible. They're very affordable. And they offer a vast array of, you know, heroes, villains, play sets, and vehicles. G.I. Joe was my favorite toy line growing up and still remains so. So you could see that, you know, some of these things that they're hitting, and then they're also in the 118 scale. So uh, Batman can hang out with G.I. Joe, and I really like that. I put him in the vehicles. I put G.I. Joe's in his vehicles. They all kind of mesh together, and it's really cool. Uh, so I really do like that. So let's uh, clear up the toy cam here before we go back to toy news. Um so you see that you got the uh, the Final Faction Crawlers. They come in a two-pack for $1.25. You can't beat that, folks. Um, you've got Indiana Jones back there playing the, uh, the uh, what is that? That's a Starship Enterprise uh, control panel. And the Killer Shark. So then we've got Gung Ho here. Why is Gung Ho here? Well, let me show yeah, you Yeah, that's guys. what Epic Badger was saying. <laughs> All right, good. Well, I'm going to show you why he's here. Because when I was at Dollar Tree, can you see this? Let's pull this up. Uh, let's embiggen that. There we go. So Barbie has these accessory packs for Chelsea, the little sister of Barbie. Can you see what that is? That's a little backpack, right, with some accessories. I was like, what if these work for 118 scale figures? Huh. What do you think, guys? Do you think that works? It's like it uh, G.I. G. I. Joe meets Dora the Explorer. Yeah, it came with a book, a flag, <laughs> a juice box, <laughs> and the backpack. You could paint that a different color, and it went on him no problem. So cool. I just wanted to put that out there. If you guys happen to be at the, uh, at the Dollar Tree, you might want to check that out. Um. You know, and who hasn't and been in the middle of an adventure and said, hey, I could really use a juice box right now. <laughs> yeah. So and then this one, uh, this one comes with a teddy bear, a comb, and I don't know what that other thing is. <laughs> so I, anyway, if you see them at Dollar Tree, you might want to pick them up. I figured with a paint job, stick some weapons in the back, we could uh, beef them up and make them a little more manly, I guess, right? Uh, so... <laughs> All right, so I think let me just look here real quick. Uh, Goji yeah. looks like Gung Ho is going to a sleepover at his friend Brittany's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Let me let me pick this off here, and we're gonna just go back and f- finish up with the Spin Master stuff. So also on the on Amazon, we've got this one here. Oh, Joe Ricondo. Hey, how are you, man? How you doing? Oh, yep. No problem, man. You got to get to work. I understand. Uh, So this was on Amazon, and it's a DC Comics 4-inch WB 100th movie six-pack. So is this uh, have to do with the Blue Beetle movie coming out? And which six characters? I was going to say, are these live action? Are these, uh, you know, animated? Are they comic book? 
it's Spin Master, so I'm expecting it to be similar. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. That'll be one to keep an eye on. Indeed. Uh, so then, Blue Beetle. So that goes into the Blue Beetle movie. It's another movie line. Uh, the figure looks pretty basic. I mean, he just looks like the character from the movie. I'll probably pick him up. Uh, hopefully, he's got those cool, you know, tentacle things or whatever they're called that come out. Um, right. Or maybe now, this cool is the the Jamie Reyes version. You know, yes. growing up, mine yeah. was was Ted Cord, especially with like Justice League International. I'm hoping Ted Cord at least gets a cameo somewhere because you know he's important to the lore. But this is a fun character and the the cool exo armor kind of thing he's got it could be fun i hope they do a good job with the film and then there's also a listing for the blue beetle bug ship which oh, awesome. i just think is a cool cool vehicle 29.99 you can't buy it you can't pre-order it either when you click on the pre-order link it just says um you know it's temporarily unavailable so I guess as we get closer to the movie, they're going to release this, and we'll find out. And I'm probably not going to jump on this stuff right away, because like the Flash movie stuff, which I did get all kind of, uh, you know, squirrely about. <laughs> and, did you get a little FOMO? Yeah, it's a little bit, and then now it's, you know, it's on clearance everywhere after the movie came out. So maybe I'll hold off on this and pick these up at a discount. I don't know. Uh, so let me go back. We're going to clear off the... Uh, uh, not yet. Okay. Let's see what, uh, yep. Goju's dying to see what that bug ship looks like. Me too, man. Um, yeah. The, the bug was a big part of the justice league international and, uh, it was a fun design. So I'm hoping to see something, you know, reminiscent of that with this new yeah. toy. That'll be fun. And I think we see, uh, John here. Uh, Hey John, how are you? Hey, uh, you'd love to see a relaunch GI Joe movie. Hey, you know what? If they do it, they right, teased it. Love to see it. Yeah. If you if you saw the Beast uh, uh, Beast Wars Transformers, they do a little tease at the end, saying there may be something coming. And uh, Jacob saying, since we got X Men ninety seven, I want them uh, to make Beast. I know Beast would be great, man. And you know they already got that Venom buck, so they could kind of use that for Beast. Uh, there is some differences to the articulation and the construction of these new X-Men 97 ones compared to the original Marvel Epic Heroes Spider-Man line. Um, these have good articulation. I was impressed. Yeah. So uh, that'd be pretty cool. And then I think someone here was asking about uh, Craven the Hunter uh, for that movie that's coming out. I would love to see him um, and all of the, uh, you know, Spider-Man um uh, rogues gallery i'd love to see all the villains um as a matter of fact one of the biggest uh gripes i have about the marvel epic hero series this new launch because we're, we're at the end of the the whole wave one checklist you know we got the spider-man stuff we got the uh avengers stuff which was the uh mech strike mechasaurs which was kind of just an odd choice we did guardians of the galaxy and that had to do with the movie and then they did the x-men wave uh, I gotta say the original Spider-Man stuff and this X-Men stuff is my absolute favorite of the line. The Mech somebody Strike was saying gimmick. The uh, really the black different. suit Spidey is is kind of a rare one. That's that's a tough one to find. Yeah, so he's he's just coming out now. So they've got Carnage and the uh, black suit Spidey, and those haven't been seen on store shelves yet. At least you know for me, I haven't seen them. So. As far as villains go, though, the disappointing thing, the only villains that we have are Ultron in the Mike Mech Strike Mechasaurus set. You've got Doc Ock, which hasn't been released yet. He's coming out soon, and he comes with like a water blaster gizmo. You've got Venom and Carnage. It's these four guys versus Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Iron Spider, which is also Spider-Man, I guess, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Spider-Man like four times. Um, the entire Guardians of the Galaxy, they have no villains in that line, which I thought was odd. Uh, you know, then the X-Men come out and there's no villains in that line either. So I was just like... There doesn't seem to be a lot of consistency with how they're presenting or, or the the, fo the 
yeah. flow through of the lines. So it's like uh, they're kind of all over the place. Well, that's the thing too. I never covered the X Men or the uh, Mech Strike Mechasaurs because there are three characters that they released three characters. I got Hulk. I got um, Captain America, Black Panther, and Iron Man. And then the rest of the series just didn't come out. And I've been waiting for them, you know, since like April. And yeah. some of them are hitting stores now. And I've been waiting to do a video on them. And I can't because they just haven't come out yet. So it's a little frustrating. Yeah. And it's a little weird, too. Like with the X-Men 97, there's going to be a cartoon tie-in. But it's not out mm -hmm. yet. So this is a little yeah. early. And then, you know, with the Mech Strike stuff, was there going to be some sort of a media tie-in with that? They or do, no? like, or? I think a YouTube channel, or they have, like, some kind of website where you could, like, watch episodes of their thing. This is, like, the third season of their Mech Strike series, which is very, you know, kid-focused. Um, so, you know, I'm not really sure, you know. Um, mm. I'll, be, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, yeah, take your time. So... Rolling on with the news, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Spin Master Blue Beetle stuff, check. We got it done. Next, we're going to go with a little O-ring action, people. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, and Largo saw that. Strike Force Alpha, they're an O-ring line, you know, similar to G.I. Joe. Not quite G.I. Joe, but... Uh, Last week, they released some uh, nice product samples on their thing. So as you notice, like, the difference between Strike Force Alpha and, like, a regular O-ring figure is these have swappable R uh, hands, you know, at the forearm there. Uh, the heads are pop and swap, so you could, like, mix and match your figures without having to take them apart. Uh, so these are really cool. Um, I'm excited to see a lot of Bullet Man love lately. We saw that at... Uh... The, uh, the Joe Fest, we saw some stuff mm -hmm. come out there. Now we're seeing the Strike Force Alpha. That's fun. And this yeah, these are you know, great. Swap and the swappability idea is, is uh, kind of a cool thing, too. Well, if you look on Big Bad Toy Store where they have the pre order, that's the only place I, I know of where to get these at this time. Um, most of that's just digital renders. So it was really nice to see the actual product in the trays here. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Goji saying, looks like they changed the deco on Johnny Bullet to make him more like the classic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah I'm glad they gave cool. him. I'm glad they gave him pants. I always thought Bullet Man needed pants. He was sorely lacking that in the in the seventies. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, Jacob, you're right. So the uh, the Sentinel, the Titan Sentinel, does count as a villain. But, you know, it's just not in the four-inch line, like Magneto or Sabretooth or, you know, any of those guys. Um, the Brotherhood so, yeah. of Evil Mutants would be fun. They should definitely do a lot of those. Yeah. Badger saying he likes that wrist swap thing. Yeah, I like how they mm -hmm. engineered these. So yeah. this is like O-Ring Plus. Like they've added a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more to the functionality of them. And then uh, John uh, is asking here, was Bullet Man not pretty similar to the old Rocket Man figures of many years ago, which featured a similar sliding on a string system? The sliding on the string, that was actually, was that Bullet Man or Rocket That was Man? Bullet Man. Yeah, okay. there, there was a Bullet Man in part of the, the 70s adventure team for G.I. Joe, and he was kind of sort of loosely based on an earlier Fawcett Comics slash DC character. Although, you know, there's some controversy of whether or not they were the the same character. It's the spirit of the same character, at least. So he's been around for a while. Uh, actually, the, the concept of Bullet Man goes way back to early comics. But, uh, you know, it's just a new reimagining of the idea. Yeah, I like that. And then here's some more characters from the line. Uh, you'll forgive me if I don't know all their names, but if you go to the... Uh, the link is in the description. If you go to the Big Bad Toy Store uh, link, you'll see all the figures. They're all available for pre-order. But this is nice because they're supposed to be coming out this fall. So, or Then next up we have uh, from uh, – this is a kind of a collaboration here. Uh, this is Don Man Art is doing – and Invincible Toys is doing the uh, Fist line, which is a six-inch line. And then um, Zyka Toys is doing – this retros where they're taking some characters and making a, a retro O-ring figure 
kind of homage to to that new line. And this guy's called Mad Dog, and I just thought he looked pretty cool with the mohawk, yeah. the killer beard. He's got the, uh, and these are constructed the same way as uh, the uh, Strike Force Alpha guys. Okay. So they're sharing like the tooling, I think. Um, so, uh, yep, I do collect vintage. Uh, yeah. And uh, Goji doing a comprehensive history of Bullet Man video coming soon. Oh, very cool. Looking forward Guys, to that. Uh, yeah, if you're new in the in the chat and you don't follow Gojitron, uh, do it. Because, uh, yeah, he's got an awesome channel over there. Um, so, yeah, and then next up we've got Haya Toys uh, continuing their G.I. Joe line, their 118 scale G.I. Joe stuff. They just announced Flint. So I think so far we've got Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Beachhead, and now Flint. So this will be the fifth figure and in the line. Firefly, I think, is in there too. Oh, I'm sorry, Firefly as well. And I, uh, I would cool. go so far as to say that Haya is out Joeing Hasbro. I mean, they're doing fantastic stuff with what they're doing yeah. with the license. Well, and Hasbro also said they're, you know, resting the O ring line. But hmm. no bother because we've got a lot of great, uh, you know, O-ring creators coming out with new lines very shortly. So that's really cool and exciting. Um, and then Haya, for those people that like the modern construction, they're making these. And these look just marvelous, man. And they're selling them about 20 bucks. So they're really not too bad. Um, Jacob saying, uh, do you guys have Marvel Legend Retro Sentinel? Uh you should sell it because the new 12 inch one, or should you keep it? Hey man, that's a decision you're going to have to make. You know, I personally, that Marvel retros one, it's like selling for like 35, 40 bucks, right? The one that came part. Right. It, it was I've got the Marvel universe version, which is more like a yeah, 14 that one's, inch. That's this one's real fun. big. Yeah. That's yeah. real fun. Uh, but that other one was five P away and it was made for the uh, now resting retro corded collection i'd mm. sell it because i you know i don't know i think these are much cooler but you know the, the uh, one from the 97 line looks like it's it's an improvement yeah so john saying his mom uh loved an old brit movie called spare the rod jeremy bullock do you know who that is yeah Jim? boba fett Was it? yeah oh okay and when he died i told her that this guy died and showed her the boba fett figure uh she couldn't remember his name <laughs> Those Hyatt toys uh, look, oh, yes, they would go great with Leonard Core vehicles. And it's funny you mentioned that, Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett. Boba Hicks. Boba Hicks. <laughs> Ooh, this is good stuff. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Black Knight saying he has one. Uh, which one? You have the, uh, the, the, the retro carded one next to your HasLab one? That's nice. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and just show you this real quick because we're going to get to it. But this is the new one that just came out. This is the Titan Series 14-inch Sentinel. Just got it in. And he's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, that's just a little tease there, guys, uh, just because we're talking talking Sentinels. Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna ask some questions. Okay, the next part here, guys, is we go down through the news because uh, I had to skip the Marvel or the X-Men stuff. So we're getting to the end here. This is Star Wars The Vintage Collection. Carded figures. They just came out with some new ones. And I had all three of these in my hand at Walmart. I didn't buy them because they were $17.99 each. That does seem a little high. But I'm glad to see Expanded Universe characters coming back. I really liked seeing these. And I really wanted them. And then I was just wondering, is that just something in me? Is it like I've been spoiled because I've been getting like $10 Spin Master figures or $11, you know, Marvel figures and that five extra dollars? It really, based on how much crap I buy, it shouldn't, you know, I've spent, you know, I'll go to the Dollar Tree and buy 20, you know, core fig or uh, Final Faction figures. It's like, it's just something psychologically. I don't know. They're really nice. Everyone else, like I saw, I posted these on Instagram. And they were like, yeah, I bought them. And I just, some reason, something stopped me. And I'm kind of regretting not getting them. I went back and they were gone. Um, 
you know, so I don't know. Is that just something? What do you guys think in the chat? You know, I was just uh, Blue Harvest Toys. How are you? I'm like, am I just being a stingy, you know, penny? You know, I'm like just minding my being too budget conscious or I just I well, feel like if I bought these, I would feel bad about them. Yeah. Penny I mean, FOMO is FOMO is real when it comes to Star Wars stuff, because you never know. If you're going to be able to catch them, like you said, you went back to the store and they were gone. You don't know if they're going to come yeah. back. I think they're overpriced. I think 12 to 14 is more where they should be instead of closer I to 20. I would probably have picked them up even if they were like 12.99. I probably would have yeah. just bought them. Even 14.99, I probably would have bought them. It was just like that $18 price. I just couldn't. Yeah, you know, for some reason, I, I would just, say if yeah. it's if it's a character you truly love, like oh, I, I love Star Killer. I think he's a great character. I'd probably pick up that particular one, but I wouldn't go yeah. for like, you know, the. I really line. wanted Hunter, and I just mm -hmm. think he looks cool. He's kind of like the Solid Snake of the Clone Wars army. I don't know. He just he's a yeah. cool character. I like him. So I don't know. That was just something I wanted to ask. Since this is a one eighteen scale toy talk. You know, anyone have any opinions on that? You know, should I just suck it up and buy them? Or should I, uh, you know, was I right to put them back? I, I, I just, I second guess it. Uh, next up is, uh, we saw this over on Facebook, Lone Wolf Toys. And there's a link in the description. Uh, these guys are 3D designing and 3D printing some really cool, just unique action figures that you don't see everywhere else. And I thought I'd, uh, let's see. Oh. Gojitron, not just you, Will. I'd buy many more reaction figures if the price wasn't 18 for 118. Yeah. Also yeah. stops from getting the high judge dread line. Okay, good. Because, yeah, we're going to see in a couple of slides, there's another example of that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, should make the rest of the Bad Batch team? Yeah, I think so. Uh Definitely makes sense. Um, and go to try and cancel all those pre-orders for that stuff. Yeah, I was going to bring up another one. So Lone Wolf Toys, guys. These guys are really talented, really cool stuff. You're not going to see this mainstream. This is Jason. is a 118 scale O-ring action figure. Pretty cool, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? You like them? Because they also did Freddy. <laughs> and, I like that they scaled Jason bigger than Freddy, which is how he should be. So, yeah, I like cool. seeing that even in the three and three quarter inch line. I would love to see more variants, you know, different torso sizes, people with longer legs, people with longer, you know, because there are, you know, like, for example, you know, me and my brother are like the same height, but his torso is much like, or his legs are longer than mine. So his mm -hmm. like waist is higher, but my shoulders are higher than his. Like you're just, I'm going to guess open. this is, this is definitely down Grindhead Jim's alley. And uh, speaking of which, Scott Hernandez is asking Transformers oh. core class. Uh, Grindhead Jim covers that a lot. And uh, our buddy Ken over at Toy Connections is also really big into the Transformers stuff. So those are some channels to check out. Yeah, I'm not currently collecting any Transformers um, at this time. But if something really cool comes by, you know, I'd probably grab it, you know. Um, and then we got Uncle Jesse. From uh, the Dukes of Hazard. Look at this, and they even did a gut. Come on, man. No one's done a dad bod O ring Got figure. So the bib overalls. Torso, yeah. Yeah, just for that torso, I think this figure is just, just cool. You know, I just think it's cool. Now, I don't think they sell them painted, and this is like a digital render. So you'd be responsible for painting them yourself, but I do hmm. think they're fully assembled and shipped to you. So it's not, it's not colored so if you're not too keen on the painting i don't know if this is the right thing for you but you probably could even hire someone to paint it for you i don't know i don't it's think more like a them. like a model kit that's kind of odd. yeah because they're 3d printing them and assembling them so they're this okay. is like a resin 3d print uh they've sculpted them so anyway they're kind of cool and i just thought you know if you if you were interested go check them out and then oh let me show you my shirt I got this really cool shirt on. It's Delta 17. Nice. That's the next thing I wanted to talk about, guys, because if you're here and this is the first time you've ever come to this chat, uh, Delta 17, Warm the Shadows. It's a new O-ring line coming out this fall 
uh, very much a spiritual successor to G.I. Joe and everything you loved about them. Uh, this is not a crowdfunded. There's no Kickstarter or anything for it. This is just coming out. So they'll be available on the right. Delta 17 website. It is an original IP. There is going to be some comic book uh, tie-in with this as well. I'd say of all the different O-Ring Renaissance stuff coming out, this is the one I'm most excited about. Jacob's saying he likes those horror characters. Well, go into the, the, uh, the description to this video and go follow Lone Wolf Toys over on Facebook. Um, and they have a, a, a store where you can buy all of their stuff. They also do a ton of like pop culture uh, heads for like the O-Ring Joes. And you can pick those up too. So they've got, cool. you know, just think of a character and they probably have it. Uh, really cool stuff. But yeah, Delta 17, War in the Shadows. This is my, uh, there's the poster right there, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really into this line. I'm following them. And I'm going to report on them every show we do. So Now, Will, when you were at Joe Fest, you saw some prototypes there. What, what did they have I, on display? I did get to see all of these. So, yeah, I've got nice. this. And then they took the uh, paint master samples and you put them in this nice little uh, succulent garden here and uh, set them all up uh, so you could see cool. them in action. And I got this from the uh, Delta 17 Facebook page. They posted these recently. And uh, they just look really great. It's nice to see them out in the in the world and not just on a, a stand there. And uh, Steve, who is the designer and creator of this line, was nice enough to come on the show last time we streamed and show us some of the actual product samples. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch the last stream we did where Steve uh, does those. And I was thinking of yeah. maybe the, cutting the that card stuff out. Yeah. The card art is amazing. They come with stands. The accessories are awesome. And they have backpacks where you can put a lot of their gear right on the figure. And it's just well designed. I like it. Yeah, I like really like them. They uh, they borrowed an awe striker from the G.I. Joe team here and loaded up. <laughs> and that guy right in the middle. Oh, that Mohawk, man. He's my man. That's my favorite character. I can't wait to get my hands on these guys. If you don't uh, follow them on uh, Delta 17, there's a link in the description. Uh, check them out. And then, yeah, the last thing was, uh, Scooper was bringing this up, was that uh, Target has been clearancing a ton of 118 scale, scale stuff. And I know I'm about a week late on this, but I figured I'd still mention it, just in case someone hasn't seen this yet. But all of those retro Indiana Jones uh, three and three quarter inch figures, the finally the uh, reaction um, GI Joe stuff, and some of the Jurassic Park stuff. Which you know, if I had to pick a second, the Mattel Jurassic Park three and three quarter stuff with vehicles, playsets, and dinos is like my second favorite complete toy line in the last couple of years and i i have it all but i i haven't done any videos on it but i i would like to highlight some of that stuff because it's really good and they're doing some good sales now the uh gi joe reaction figures you know a lot of people give these things heat i don't i don't mind them i like them i think they do some cool designs they lean into some of the uh the likenesses and character designs that you saw in the cartoon but, yeah, I was going to say, if you're a Sunbow fan, they, they do the, the Sunbow des designs justice, but they were way overpriced when they first came out. $20 get them on is yeah. too much for these, so I, I would yeah. admire them. I mean, I'll say, you know, the cards look nice, the artwork looks nice, some of the sculpts look nice, the colors are bright, you know, they're pretty cool, but right. I think $9.99 is the right price for them. And if they yeah, were 999, I'd probably not, have them all. Yeah, they're not O-ring. They're five POA. You know, mm -hmm. they're they, they look prettier if you leave them on the card and put them on the wall than actually playing with them, in my opinion. But, Which I think is kind of like I don't know. I always thought like maybe that's just what they're focusing on. Like, mm. like people are just gonna keep them carded and not play with them. That's why they don't go with more articulation or anything, but I open them up and I want to, you know, take them out and check them out. But yeah, if they were five, if they were $10 or even 11 or $12 from the start, I probably would have everything they do because they do all kinds of, almost every license you can think of. Um, Super seven's done. As a matter of fact, I just saw a thing. Uh, they're doing a princess bride line. 
Ooh. And they look cool, and I would like them. I love that movie. I absolutely love The Princess Bride. But I don't want to pay $20 a figure for them. You know, so right. um, I'm just wondering, you know. It'd be cool if, like, some online toy store, uh, like, Hello Dope Toys would carry some 118 scale stuff. Uh, Monster High, my target has plenty. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, I think as we see tastes evolve and different things come out, you know, whatever is, is popular and is going to move, you know, Holodopes is open to suggestion if it's something that's that's worth carrying and people are going to gonna buy. So yeah. we, we'll see. We'll see where they go. When they do PowerCon, yeah. they're going to be looking at some new lines there as well. Goji just saying, yeah, Super 7 product looks cool until you see the prices. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Okay, guys. So that was, you know, pretty much my 118 scale toy news. Uh, we talked about, uh, you know, Spin Master stuff, the Blue Beetle stuff, Strike Horse Alpha, Zyka Toys, Haya Toys, Star Wars Vintage Collection, 3D Designers Making Cool Stuff, Delta 17, Target Clearance. And now, without further ado, we're going to talk about the X Men 97. I know that's what everyone wants to see. It's what I want to see. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Now, but do you want to do, do you want to touch do you want to touch on the Amazon kerfuffle cuz that that ruffled a lot of feathers. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to show you that but if I could just take like a 30 second break, I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to just clear the toy cam and set it up real quick. I'll be just oh, okay. a second, guys. Go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Oh, I'll take a look and see what we got going on in the chat here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Go back a little bit. And let's see. Um, Jacob's asking about video games. I know you like the retro games. Uh, TJC, another guy that uh, we, we hang out with. He does some retro gaming on his channel. That might be a good one. I don't do much of the, the retro games or video games these days. Will does. Will is a, a old school gamer. So when he comes back on, we might touch on that a bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Bjorn. Bjorn usually is our go-to guy for finding cool stuff at his Walmart. But yeah, the, the Target in different areas, you just never know who's going to clearance, who isn't. And that's unfortunate, but we'll, you know, keep an eye out for what's available and uh, we'll, we'll see where things are going. And Jacob is excited for the X-Men 97 Patrick figure since the show shows would be coming this year or next year, but everything on hold. Oh yeah. The whole Hollywood hiatus thing is really goofing with stuff and, uh, you know, uh, there was a great uh, retro, best, retro blasting video by Michael French yesterday that touched on that. Uh, you guys should go check that out. Uh, it really talks about what's going on there and how there may be some opportunities for, for YouTubers to step up and, and provide some good content since Tinseltown can't seem to get their stuff together. But, uh, yeah, and the, and the 97 cartoon was awesome. I uh, really enjoyed that, and it's nice to see that coming back. Hopefully they do it justice when we get to see it. And uh, Goji, uh, I, I, I got to understand if there was a context to that, but uh, is this in, in, in reference to your, your toy collecting or uh, you know movie paraphernalia or, or what have you? Oh, uh, we were just talking about this earlier, uh, Will, about Lenard, uh, the core. Looks like there might be some stuff coming. It'll be interesting so, to see where they go. Yeah, with that. I just saw that they uh, announced that there's going to be a Sam's Club exclusive uh, four pack of like kind of like Adventure Team type uh, one or 12 inch figures. Uh, Very cool. Out. Yeah. Uh, so that that's really interesting. Uh, yeah, you know what? Before we go to X-Men, let's just go ahead and uh, get this part out of the way because this is something uh, that's been brought up. Where in the world are the core? Because Lenard's The Core has been a staple for all these years that they don't make G.I. Joe stuff. You could always count on being able to pick up some cool vehicles and figures uh, from Lenard. 
they're gone. Where have they been? In yeah. 2022, they announced some really cool, new and exciting things. Now, you know, the core has always reused molds, and we've seen vehicles come out again and again, and even figures come out again and again. And fine, they're a discount line, and that's completely understandable. In recent years, they've been going with like this new storyline that started with like Time Crisis. Now it's like Core Universe. They're doing a biotech line. They did a dinosaur kind of themed uh, line where the the guys were riding dinos into battle. Um, and in 2022, they released this. This is still on their website. It says new for 2022, and they show these new cool vehicles. We had wow. the Sky Knight. Look at this thing, the Bad Badger. Hey, Badger. Uh, hmm. but yeah, it's like a it's like a jet plane with uh, two guns on the front there that kind of looks like an old World War II plane that was from like I think their Time Crisis series. Man, that's a badass looking vehicle. For I never Joe saw these in stores. Course. Did these come out? No. It's been. I saw one at Joe Fest 2022. At uh, the uh, Cotswold co collectible booth, but it was already sold. But I got mm. to look at it. Um, yeah, these haven't been in like store shelves. They haven't been on Walmart store shelves in, in years now. Now they put out like a, a holiday pack that was at like Sam's Club or uh, Walmart where it came with older vehicles that have been reused several times already, like the Jeep and like that little tank thing and stuff like that. But None of these new released or newly announced vehicles. So you have the Sky Knight, the Bad Badger. You've got the Gunslinger. Look at this thing, man. It's like a 1930s or 40s kind of you know car on a monster truck body with missiles, a machine gun nest, another gun up there. This thing looks awesome. It's called the Gunslinger. Looks fantastic. I would have multiples of these. I love this kind of stuff. The Badlands Medic is where you got this. Uh, it's like a monster truck ambulance. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, it's like a mini playset, you know. You've got the Sea Guardian, which is a really cool, you know, kind of battle boat there with with storage underneath. So I'm wondering if you could put hmm. a mini vehicle in there or or figures or whatever you choose. So where in the world are they? I've got viewers all over the world. I'm going to keep asking this question until I see them. I know Go that is suggesting people... maybe the distribution is in Europe or overseas. We're not seeing it much in the U.S., so okay. maybe they're in so, other markets. All I've seen is Smith's is a, is a retailer in the U.K. They have the other stuff, but they don't have that gunslinger. They don't have the plane, or at least they don't have them listed on their thing. Uh, yes, I have seen them in all these. They had the Jurassic Clash, it was called. The uh, the dinosaur stuff was the last time I saw anything like that. Uh, Australia. I've seen someone, as a matter of fact, G.I. Joe Berg did a video where he was trying to buy one, but there was a recall or something on it Weird. from like a toy store. Yeah, and they wouldn't let him buy it. Uh, he was trying to buy it. When they scanned it at the register, they said they're not allowed to sell it. It was like... And he was like kind of bummed about it. So if nope. anyone has any information about this, reach out to me either here or on Instagram and let me know where I could buy this because I want all of it. Yeah. Before we jump into the X-Men stuff, uh, Jacob has a question about the Epic Heroes Carnage design. What, what do you think about that? I know you're more into those. Yeah. So I did mention that in my last video on it. It looks kind of plain. It just looks, mm. he's kind of like just all red and he kind of just looks like his mouth's hanging open. Whereas like the car, the, the Venom figure, I thought they did a really good job. Remember he had that, that crazy uh, tongue coming out the side and, and the jaws. It seemed like they're, uh, the carnage, they either missed a paint app or something. It yeah. just looks a little, I, I wish I had a picture to bring up. I don't think I have it readily available, but um, yeah, he's. I'd have to wait to get him in hand to see. Our our man across the pond, Boba Hicks, he's got your back. Great. Go Where in the world is 
Why not it's the core? I need to know. I want them. It's not, you know, a bad thing, but I just, I keep hearing that they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Even their own website says 2022. New releases coming soon. It's nearing the end of 2023. And yeah, they got yeah. into doing like the aliens and the predator stuff from Lenard, but the core figures haven't seen much at all. Hi, Ken. How are you? Uh, so, yeah, and uh, thank you very much, Boba Hicks. I appreciate that. And anyone else anywhere in the world, if you see that core stuff, send me a message. You know, uh, there might be some money in it for you. You know, I'll, I'll definitely pay for these things, man. I, I want them. They're cool, and I, I I really like to see them. I so, will gladly pay that, you Tuesday for a Lenard's for, today. <laughs> a Lenard's the court today. <laughs> X-Men 97. Here we go, guys. Let's go take a look at some of this stuff, because uh, this is cool. I'm definitely Let getting me, some Toy Biz vibes from the packaging. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think they 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 uh, they're leaning into that. And I haven't seen the art style or a trailer for the new show coming out, but I imagine it looks similar. I don't know. Uh, so, guys, I'm... I figured I'd just start you off here with the the packaging. So these went live on Amazon yesterday. I did get them, and uh, I already took them out of the package because I know no one wants to hear me cutting open boxes uh, on stream, but you might be interested in the packaging. But yeah, they got the whole class there. They got Beast, Morph, you got Forge, Storm, Rogue, Jubilee, uh, Jean Grey, Gambit, Cyclops, and uh, Wolvie on the side there. I don't take orders from Noah, bub. Okay, let's get him out of the way. Let's take a look at the X Jet. That's the packaging there. Comes with the Storm figure. This one required some minor assembly. So okay. uh, I already did that. And now, will, will it hold two figures or just it's, so it's one in the cockpit and then somebody can hang on on the back? Or Yeah. So let me show you those features real quick because there's also something I want to. I don't know if I can get this on camera. Here, I'll pick it up. So there's this little like uh, hook on the bottom, as you can see there. Okay. So a character can hang from the bottom. Then you've got this design on the top where like they can like ride on the back like a jet ski, and then one character could fit in the cockpit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a middle sized vehicle, and here it is. So yeah, I had to uh, assemble that. I had a. I like the color. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is the handle that's supposed to fold up on the back for the, there's supposed to be a yellow handle there, right? Mm hmm. It's not there. Weird. And it wasn't in the box. And I I took it. You know, I was kind of frantically opening stuff, but when I looked at the instruction sheet. That did not look like a part that you had to assemble. It was already in there. So there wasn't even instructions on how to assemble that. And uh, this comes with the Storm figure. Here she is. Uh, I know some people weren't digging her mohawk uh, as she didn't have it in this version. But I guess in the, uh, in the cartoon, the new cartoon, she may be doing that. There's plenty of room in this cockpit, folks. I know Bjorn was asking. You could fit any four-inch figure in there. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Uh, right. And the design is generic enough. You could use this with any toy line that you, you know. Yeah. And it comes with two shooting missiles. Uh, so, um, oh, cool. one is a missile shooter. The other one just holds the missile. So, uh, yeah, not bad. I don't think that's bad for uh, 30 bucks for the ship and a figure. I'll take it. Well, yeah, it's well done. So we've got Storm there. We got Wolverine. We got Cyclops. Oh. He 
Ian Sweeney's heading out. We'll see you later, buddy. He's going to catch the hey, wrestling. Ian, thank you, man. I appreciate you stopping by. And Rogue. And I'll, I'll get in a little closer to them there so you can see them. There they are with the ship. And yeah, Ep you know, Epic saying this is the adolescent blackbird. I'd say baby bird. Yeah, I don't think, but you know what? Back in uh, and Gojitron shared the picture with me, and I think in my video, the last one when I talked about the announcement of these, they made a mini Blackbird jet in the toy. It was in the cartoon. Line. Yeah, yeah, the, back in it, the nineties. So there was a mini Blackbird jet. So it kind of has a little thing, and I guess you know. The way the toy market is now, can you really expect them to make like a huge playset? You know, and I'm just wondering. I have the Blackbird Jet from the '90s. Would it cool. scale with these figures? Like, could I just, you know, the ship would be a little bigger, but as far as scale goes, I don't know if like the seats or any of the, uh, you know, interaction components there. And then you can see this in the background. These Sentinels, and I got two of them are huge and I can't even show them on the toy can and yes and then we could go into the uh, let me let me let me pull myself up here and uh, let's pop in this thing is gigantic and it is not um, 12 inches it's 14 inches and it's not 5 POA. So they charge a little more for this. This is $20, $22 uh, as opposed to the $11 that we originally thought they were going to be. But they are massive. Uh, 14 inches tall. They have a uh, hip, hip and, you know, so legs kick forward and out to the side. Arms uh, do rotate and they have a shoulder joint. They don't have an arm, you know, an elbow joint. Heads do move, but I gotta say, for Sentinel, for twenty bucks, it's got more articulation than the other one, and I think they're pretty awesome. The um, only thing I'd say it's missing is the uh, the tentacles that it used to shoot out to wrap up figures. I was already thinking about that. I would like to, you know, find a way to make some. I know you can probably get some corded. Uh, I'm gonna look. There's got to be some kind of like craft material that I could mm -hmm. get to make like a yeah, because they they would take those and like just trap an X Men and like th you know catch them and throw them. But yep. these are pretty cool, and I still think at twenty bucks they're still army buildable. Yeah, uh, just a shame they're so huge though. You know, I can't even. And then yes, so we have to address this one because hey guys, you like Wolverine? Mm -hmm. I like Wolverine. Hey, you like Wolverine? Yeah. He's cool. Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, hey. this is where, where you... Yeah, I heard you like Wolverine. You ordered Sentinels and got Wolverines because of the screw-up on hey. the SKU number or whatever? Hey, hey. Uh, I, heard, I heard you like Wolverine, so I, uh, I sent you a whole hey. box of Wolverine. <laughs> Not epic at all, because i got to no. tell you. So... The initial listings, these all went live yesterday, um, and, you know, it kind of, I jumped right on it, got on Amazon, it had the uh, picture of the Sentinel, and I'll pull this up here so we can uh, take a look at it, um, all the way back at the beginning. So, this is what they did. Uh, the listing, this is the corrected listings as of last night. But the listing for the Sentinel said eleven ninety nine. There's a picture of a Sentinel there, and it was a generic um, code name. It didn't say Marvel X Men Wolverine. It just said Marvel X Men twelve inch figure. Mm. So kind of like these. If you look, I think I have the listings. No, I don't have them. Okay, yeah, right here. If you look here, these pictures showed like it said Marvel. XMN, 4-inch Rizzo, Potter, and Winchester. These were like code names that they had for the figures. <laughs> they also had that for the Sentinel and the Wolverine. 
So mm. somehow they mixed up the pictures. Now, can you return those, Will? Or um, I definitely believe uh, Amazon will take them back. I'm sure they're pretty good with their customer service. I don't think I'll have a hassle. I might just have to box them up and then ship them back or something. I tried to cancel the order last night when they finally corrected these. But at $12 each, you better believe I ordered four of them or five of them. I think there's right. still one coming. I think I ordered five altogether, but uh, one didn't make it on the shipment. Or maybe that one did cancel and these didn't. I don't know. I got to check my account. But then at twenty two ninety nine, I ordered two. Uh, I figured I'd wait to get the money back for these things. Uh, the Wolverines, and then uh, maybe buy another one if they're still available. I think three, maybe four is enough to do a really cool display. I don't think I need too many more than that. Because, you know, you take yeah. out a Sentinel, you can just bring it back and get another Sentinel. It's not like you have to have uh, a thing. But yeah, so that was a big mix-up on their part. They then filled in all this detail. So what the initial listing didn't have any detail. It was very generic. It just said it didn't say anything. It didn't tell you what you were buying. It just said Marvel uh, MRL 12-inch Hero. Like, that's all it said. Uh, so it wasn't, like, there at all. Like, there was no... Yeah, see, the, the that attachment on the back is missing from mine, so I think I have to return the ship also. Hmm. Yeah, I doubt they're going to just send me that piece, and, you know, I mean, it does come with it, so... I think I should get that, right? I would think so. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Um, let's see how uh, the chat is doing, guys. Uh, I told you this is going to be a, a cluster. Uh, so <laughs> I'm all over the place. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sentinel looks a lot better compared to the Retro Sentinel. Yeah, I think so. He looks more like the animated one. And the size is, is better. I think the one from the retro collection was only 18 inches tall. So. Scuba's got a great idea. You remember that cheesy Jeep they did that had the Wolverine claws and, you know, kind of morphed? <laughs> yes. you, you, could, uh, you could do a custom. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Just go with them all together. Uh, all right. See you later, Jacob. All right. Have a good one, man. And uh, yeah, just check those links, man. Everything's in the, in the description below. I don't think I put the ship. I think I put this, uh, a link for the Sentinel and a link for one of the action figures because I didn't want to do four different things. But once you find one of them, you should be able to get that. Um, I'll get my ship Tuesday. Well, I'll let you know if it's missing that piece. Yeah, well, it's not. It wasn't included in any of the tissue paper. So they had like t everything was wrapped in tissue paper. And stuffed in the corner, and I unwrapped all of those and I put them on my thing. I've got all the tissue paper right here, so I went through that again. I went through the box a second time. I can't find it. When I looked on the instruction booklet, oh, which is right here, uh, yeah, I can go. Yeah, so in the instructions, uh, you know, they show all the parts that you have to attach, but that handle, which is, I think, right in this illustration right here is already on the on the jet it's not a piece that you have to assemble so like right i don't think it came loose like it just shows it is still there you know that picture just shows you inserting a missile so i don't know um whew, okay so all right, guys, that's all the 118 scale news I've got uh, today. Does anyone have any questions about any of this stuff? Did you want to see anything else? Um, was there is there something out there that I've missed? You know, I pretty much I, I'm in a lot of 118 scale toy groups. Uh, you know, I follow a bunch of people with similar interests and they'll post stuff as, as it's released. But obviously, there's got to be something out there that I'm not seeing or I don't know about. Um, what about the. Joy Toy. Joy Toy is doing a lot of 118 stuff. Uh, some, they do you know, do some great stuff. And as a matter of fact, I know someone uh, personally that uh, actually sent me some really cool Joy Toy stuff. Uh, nice. And I, I'm looking at them right now. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy, yeah, you sent me some really cool Joy Toy stuff. Yeah. I've admired if it from afar for a very long time. Yeah, and people who are into Warhammer 40k getting 
Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of other uh, licensed stuff as well as their own custom stuff. They're, they're a little pricey because they are a Japanese import, but they, they do some nice stuff. Yeah, I love them, and, you know, I can't wait to – I don't know if they have anything new released, but, yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Goji Tron just asked a question. Is Wolverine actually shorter than the rest? Here's your answer. Yeah. And that's the way he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be short and scrappy. Right. He's about a head shorter than um, than than Cyclops here. So then he's like, uh, "All right, teacher's pet. You know, you want to mess with me? No. Um, we need a we need a Colossus so we can do a fastball special. I would love a Colossus. I was actually thinking, um, but I don't think they would scale because I was looking at a Juggernaut figure yesterday because he's huge. You know, even mm -hmm. in the cartoon when they're fighting him, he's huge. I'm like, with the six inch, like Marvel Legends, like Juggernaut be the actual appropriate scale for these guys? I don't know. Maybe. Um, uh, Black Aaron, Black Knight, saying he, he likes the Warhammer stuff that Joy Toy's been oh. putting out. Um, and where is it? Bjorn was talking about uh, the Western stuff that comes out. Um, That's right. Dime, the Dime Store. Dime Novel Dime, Legends. Dime Novel Legends is also wanting to scale Bjorn. That's actually mm -hmm. a really good idea for a uh, future episode. Go into that stuff. I know you're really into that. You've been enjoying those. Uh, Marauders is something that we should probably get in. Maybe in one of these streams, we go on their website and kind of take a look at all their offerings. Fresh Monkey Fiction. Uh, they did the uh, the two really cool uh, cust you know customs that they did for Joe Fest. They had those really nice exclusives. Yeah, um, and the e Eagle Force stuff coming out soon, or some of it's already out. Oh, uh, you know what? Good idea. What about the old Toy Biz Juggernaut to scale with them? That's a really good idea. And that actually, I'm sorry, there's one more thing I wanted to bring up on the stream, and I forgot to uh, prep for it. Um, and let me just let me pull this up real fast, and I'll share my screen and, and show it. Um, stop. World made of cardboard's popping in. Good to see you. Hey, John, how are you? And yeah, Bjorn's mentioning the Vietnam stuff that Marauders is going to be coming out with. Looks really cool. Looking forward to seeing those. It really does look cool. And, um, you know, I really like to check that out. I'm going to share my screen real quick here. Okay. Uh, do, 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 and we're going to take a look at. And, you know, let me know what you guys think. Because I was going to hold off on this one until I, uh, until I found it. But. Check this out over on shopdisney.com. They've got this cap. Can you see this, uh, Jim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this Captain Carter in the Hydra Stomper action figure Marvel toy box set. It was originally $35. And I know the uh, the Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper is pretty expensive also. Yeah. This is a pretty good price, man. 17 bucks, And you get the two figures. What I'm really looking at here is that this Hydra Stomper is about eight inches tall. So for a four-inch figure, he's about twice as tall as a four-inch figure. That kind of okay. scales, right? Yeah, that would work. I really liked the Toy Box um, Hall of Armor that they did a while back because those work with other scales as well. The The Toy Box scale is kind of an odd... Uh, I guess it's like somewhere around five to, you know, five inch kind of scale. So, yeah, these larger figures like the Hydra Star, yeah. you could definitely use that with your 118s. And he has uh, lights and sounds and that lid opens up and there is a uh, Steve Rogers inside. Cool. But he's more of like this cartoonish style mm -hmm. that uh, the Peggy Carter is. I'm thinking that shield will probably be usable. And then uh, when you look at the details here, it says that the Hydra Stomper figure is seven and three quarter inches high. So just under eight inches. And Captain Carter's about five and five eighths. So Captain Carter's probably not usable, but there is another uh, option there. I was thinking of just, uh, there's only two female figures, or right now three female figures now in the uh, Epic Heroes line, but Oh shit! Oh, toy cam is coming down. Hmm. 
I think I just lost it. Okay, toy cam is done. I just knocked it <laughs> over. I'm kicking it from studio. All right, is a uh, rogue, and there was also uh, what's her name, Mantis from the uh, Guardians. The Guardians. If I did a head swap with her, and maybe did a Captain Carter, I could make a Captain Carter that would fit. Because I, I like that. That was one of my favorite. That was one of the better What If uh, series. What do you think about that? Uh, did yeah. you like the Hydra Stomper? I just thought the price I, was pretty high. Yeah, I uh, liked that. That was probably my favorite of the What If cartoons was that uh, the the whole, you know, different timeline idea of, you know, Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper with Steve being, you know, the, the proto Iron Man kind of thing. It was a neat idea. And I would like to see them do more with that. And I just think that Hydra Stomper armor looks pretty cool. So if I could put it next to my four-inch figures and even put it in G.I. Joe and just use it as a, a kick-ass Joe mech suit or something. For yeah. It's like a, I that's picked not up a the Hyd- price. Yeah. I got the Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper when it went on clearance because I wanted to repaint it and make it a, a Steel Brigade special suit. So it's on yeah, my yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a cool design. It looks pretty cool. And for seventeen bucks, uh, it has lights in it too, so it's got a little extra features. Now, if you create a new uh, Disney account with a new email, they'll send you a code for free shipping because the shipping was like eight bucks on it. So. I did that and I got the free shipping. So I paid 17 until the end of today. They're doing a 25% off sale. I don't know if you could stack the two promo codes and get free shipping plus 25% off. But if it was something you were interested in, um, I'd go for it and check it out. But I don't know exactly how well it'll scale until I get it in hand. And it won't be here until next week. It's like taking a really long time. I ordered it a couple of days ago. Uh, so at, when I saw that that sale was ending today, I was like, uh, maybe we should, uh, maybe I should, you know, bring it up because if anyone else, you know, I'd like to let you guys get the deal as well. Uh, so what do you think? Um, anyone interested in that or is that just a kind of. For, for customizing, I think it's definitely something that's uh, worthwhile. Definitely find yeah. a use for it somewhere. Well, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, I figured I would do because I, a couple other times I did the, you know, the nifty thrifty uh, show and it got some views there, but I figured I could just lump that all into this. If we were to do this weekly or bi-weekly, uh, you know, any cool clearance deals or anything like that, I could bring them up at the end of the show and we can talk about them. Uh, so, yeah. you know, uh, anyone watching, if that's something you'd like to see, if you think we should, you know, add that portion in there. Um, and likewise, if you see any good deals out there, send them to me either in the comments here or on Instagram so I could get it out to the rest of the community. Um, but that's all uh, I've got for today. So anyone has any questions, let me know. If not, we're probably going to wrap it up. Um, just want to thank you guys for bearing with me. I do want to plug tomorrow's Largo's Lair slash Largo's right. Lounge. The Infinite Playlist will return. One of our subscribers is going to be our guest, Rastafibians, bringing some of the uh, SoCal um, kind of a, a reggae vibe, some some cool music. Uh, we've been listening to that. To let people know, if you go to the the uh, the link uh, in the description for that video, even before it goes live, you can pull up all of the music from the playlist and check it out because the links are active now. So if you want to check out the songs that are going to be uh, we're going to be talking about, you, you can do that ahead of time. Excellent. I've been checking out some of the tunes while I was uh, prepping for this show and uh, putting slides together and setting up the toy cam and stuff like that. So, uh, cool. yeah, I'll probably be doing a more in-depth video on the X-Men stuff because I'm really excited. I want to show how the uh, – I didn't bring that up, but it looks like like some of the, the gripes that people had about like the, the hip joints kind of looking squarish. They kind of went mm. with like a ball joint now, so it looks a little better. And and we've got like swivel at the uh, – so you could – not only can you bend the knees, but you can also kind of turn them also, get a little more uh, dynamic poses there. Uh, so I think the articulation has improved. Now, do uh, they um, have peg holes in the feet for stands? They do. And okay. 
like the uh, Spin Master, that's another little fun tip if you if you have them. Uh, the Spin Master figures work very well with the uh, Fortnite stands. Okay. And so do the uh, Marvel figures. So it'll be cool to see if the new Hexus stack stands are going to work with some of these. I think. That yeah, would be and awesome. you know these are like a softer plastic too. So if you kind of had to. I'm not saying to force it on there, but you know, if you had a peg and it wasn't exactly the same size, you could stick it on there and probably get away with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's been 118, whatever show, whatever the suggestion was, put it in the comments. So I don't forget. <laughs> We're hanging with the helm. It's all under the helm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for, uh, you know, hanging out with me and talking me through all this stuff. And uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. If uh, there's anything you'd like to see, please comment below. Let me know so I can look it up and put together some slides. Uh, depending on the amount of news out there, we'll be back next week. Uh, possibly later in the day, because uh, I I might just change it by like an hour. So it might start at like 3 or 4. I just figured this was a good time of day. If uh, you guys think of another time, let me know. Uh, but with that, thank you very much. We're out of here. Uh, let me uh, get to this little thing here. We even have an exit. Bye, guys. Thanks. See ya. Bye.